January is often a month in which we rejuvenate, in which we concentrate on transformation, becoming, moving into, and also change. The change in our lives, the change in ourselves, the change in our world. But how can we make change sacred and holy? How does change fit into a framework of faith and justice? Often, a great way to move into change is to contemplate people and movements that have shaped the world that we live in now. And of course, in the United States, with the upcoming changes in political power and the upcoming transformations that we'll see in the world around us, how can we look at that from a faith-based perspective? How can we look at these key figures and movements in a way that aren't static, that don't stay in the same place, but rather are transformed themselves by the way that we all live our lives in this world? Across the country, there is a call, a challenge to reclaim MLK's radical legacy. The movement for black lives, the current face of the black liberation movement, both urges the public and empowers direct stakeholders in the movement to reclaim this radical legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. Not only the legacy of nonviolent direct action, but that of radical resistance. The hashtag Reclaim MLK calls for a broader and bigger examination of MLK's legacy, one that is not sanitized and prepackaged in bite sized doses, one that disrupts the status quo. It also asks us to change the way that we see resistance movements. Rather than still frames in a moment of time, we are called to accept and fully embrace the organic and evolving nature of resistance and resilience. We take a closer look at the Black Liberation Movement, and that's exactly what we see. Rather than separate historical incidences, slavery, abolition, Jim Crow, MLK, we see a more robust scene, one that includes more than just a few key figures, one that brings forth the diversity, conflicts, messiness, beauty, and in general multifaceted nature of this movement that spans over centuries. When we diminish the civil rights movement to the guidance and leadership of only MLK, we erase the many black women, LGBTQ activists, radical, Afrocentric, non-Christian voices that were integral to this movement. And when we diminish the movement, we in turn erase the fullness of who MLK was his words become cherry-picked to suit the dominant culture and even to silence current black liberationists to protect whiteness. Likewise, when we open up the dominant idea of black liberation, we allow for multiple truths and a diversity of tactics and a diversity of philosophies. We add to the living organism that resistance is. So how do we change the framework around liberation and other social action movements? How do we bring ourselves together with history rather than being separated from it? And what does it mean when we do, when we realize that there was no separate civil rights movement, that it was all a part of one large movement that is still in progress, that continues in our present day. How do we honor Martin Luther King Jr.'s radical legacy? 
As we celebrate this day, let us carry his revolutionary spirit beyond single quotes, beyond speeches and still frames. Let us use his words as a part of a bigger, larger, and fuller kaleidoscope of actions, activists, leaders, tactics, and philosophies that continue to create the full moving picture of Black liberation. May we carry resistance and resilience in our hearts always. May we seek change through justice and may we seek justice within our hearts and our minds. May we come together as one voice, as one beating heart, and work toward the collective liberation of all people. May we do this by walking in the footsteps of the great leaders of the past, but may we also do this by walking into the fullness and the truth of our lives in the present day. May it be so. Ashe.